Hello, I'm Trick, and in this video, I will show you how to use MBLAB X to create a project. So first, we go to File, New Projects, Standalone Projects. Okay, and next. Okay, and we select the name of the microcontroller. Okay, whether you can select the one six F. 887 from a supplier or you can go to the market the online website they sell some other picks okay there's a lot of website that sells microcontroller pick all right you can see here all right let's select the new one all right one six f one five zero nine okay the more expensive the more pin okay we select this one all right Okay, just type in the name. Okay, and next. In here, select simulator. If you have the debugger, you buy from microchip, select one. If you don't, select the simulation. And here is the screen for the compiler. In my case, I have already the XC8 where we can download at the microchip website. Just type in XC8 download and then download from the microchip website <coughs> and then install in your computer. After that, you will see the XC8 on the list okay we select one and then next next we name the projects and the safe location all right remember to name the projects easy to remember okay and don't put Vietnamese typing in the name okay we start the projects. The software MPLAB X will create a project for you. Let's wait. Okay, we are ready. So we create a new file as the main file. Let's create the new main file dot C because we use C programming language okay already have the main programs okay we adjust the screen font side a little bit for you to easy to see okay let me put okay that's it all right here we go and next step, we setting some configuration bit that Windows, Target Memory Views, Configuration Bits. Okay, this is where you set the microcontroller settings. There are some settings. If you want to understand this setting, you have to go to the data sheet. Okay, because uh, microchip somehow they integrate many function into a pin for example here the RA2 also the analog 2 also DAC out also timer 0 clock in and also the other functions like uh, uh, okay and 
so so you have to select the function you want okay just uh, do like a internal oscillator I will explain you later on the cost okay by this time if we don't use it just turn it off okay the explanation okay turn it off because we don't use it now okay all right and then we generate the code to output the software somehow will create the code for you you just copy it and paste to your main program all right put it here okay put it here then we can start programming now it's the C programming we will discuss later but for now let's just put a wire one this mean y2 the infinity loop okay <clears throat> and then we go to the protest and draw a simulation circuit it's very simple uh, simulation software it's very easy to use okay where you can uh, go to the libraries the press is here the p and then you type the component you want to put in your schematics in this case the pick 16f1509 the resistor I select 330 ohms this one and then the LED let's take the green one okay take the green one okay and then you put in the schematic screen okay in order to know how to design a circuit or the MCU circuit you have to understand the chips or you have to read the data sheet okay refer or look up on the um, reference design from the microchip website so you will understand how to design a circuit okay let's put here an LED with a resistor okay and connect to the RC0 or we can put some input device like a switch or buttons put in the schematic simulation for now we don't need it okay there we go by double click on the chips you can see the program file and you point the program so the simulation will load the program and execute it and now we go back okay to the data sheet in order to use the rc0 or rc1 you can see it's integrate with the other function so you have to read the data sheet carefully to turn off the other function and keep the main function that you want to run in this case the input and output module so I have to manipulate the tree for the direction of the output pin in this case the tree C0 defined by 1 is input and 0 is output output means you use the MCU the microcontroller to 
export or to create a high logic or low logic. A high logic does mean a physical five volt present at the pins. Okay. <clears throat> And then we manipulate or we program the large C register. Okay, I will explain to you later in the input and output chapters in the next video. Okay, next we have to turn off the analog selection, the AND cell A, AND cell B, and AND cell C to turn off the analog control that means you turn back to the I.O. function or input output function the default is analog readings okay it's written in the datasheet default okay so we have to put the end cell into zero Okay. All right. <clears throat> the end cell register is defined already in the in the file. Okay. And then we combine. It will generate the machine code for you. Okay. Feel successful. Remember where you put your projects and go to the production folder. It will generate your .hex file. This is the file you put that's deleted. And then when I generate it again or I compile it again, it will regenerate it. Okay, let's take this file into simulation. Here, yeah. right, this one, this one, this one, okay, this and production, and then here, okay, and we can run. So the RC1 is output 1, that means 5 volt at the pinout, and the LED is turned on, okay. Let's change the program to zero and see the effect. All right, now it turn off because the low state is zero voltage. Okay, let's put some more LED into the circuit and try it again. Okay, and the register, right? Okay, we connect to the RC1 and RC2. Okay, all right. And then we modify the program. Let's copy it. Okay, modify to RC1, RC2. Okay. And then the large register, large C1, large C2. Okay. Let's modify. Okay. 1, 0, 0, and then I will see in the simulation only D1 will turn off, the other 2 will turn off. Okay, let's check it again by modifying the D2 is turned on, whether it's effective or not. 
all right and this time d2 is turn on okay so you will see what's the, the relationship between the program and the circuit okay it's work like we program it All right, now we look for some delay commands or uh, we make a wait point for some times to make the DLED light it turn on and off and on and off like the rotating light okay again we have to seek for the command in the help file all right whatever you need just look up in the help in this case if I want to use the delay function I have to define a crystal frequency so if you calculate based on my parameters okay I put it here 1 megahertz like the simulation okay and I put it in the infinity of the wire 1 and as some delay function with 500 okay that means wait here for 500 millisecond before you go to the next command okay copy and paste let's make the LED rotate okay or change all right and then we check the simulation one two three okay and it repeat again and again because if we put this line of code into an infinity infinity loop okay thank you and see you next time